and welcome to Help I Sexted My Boss. The podcast that helps you navigate the challenges of modern life. Like, does morning dress at a wedding mean you have to wear pyjamas? Dear William Jordan and producer Ben, I have been invited to an extremely posh wedding this summer and I have no idea what to wear. The men are due to wear morning dress, but what does that mean for us ladies? Everywhere I look online says something slightly different. Must I wear a hat or a fascinator or any other sort of adornment? I would rather not have to wear one, but I don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. Please help, I'm American and I'm very confused by all of this. Best wishes, Natasha. Jordan, define morning dress. Morning dress is um, quite old-fashioned nowadays. It's tails and top hats at a wedding. And it's kind of what they wore for Prince William and Prince Harry's wedding. And it's also what's going to be worn. You're wearing... I'm going to be in it, yeah. ...morning dress for your wedding, aren't you? You've actually basically been able to do it. But what does it mean for the ladies? Yeah, what does it mean for the ladies? I do believe the ladies do have to wear a hat or a fascinator. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, preferably a hat. Hat. What's wrong with a fascinator? Mm. Hey, I love ladies in fascinators. You get a lot of them at um, ADOC races and stuff. (laughs) Ladies' Day. I suspect if you, Natasha, have been invited to your words, an extremely posh wedding, uh, a proper hat, and that is something that covers the crown of your head, uh, might be preferable. What what sort of hats should ladies wear? At well, if it's in the summer, so it's uh, straw hats rather than fabric hats. So I don't mean like Wurzel Gummidge or anything like that, or like a scarecrow, but made of straw because it's, the, it's hotter weather and so you can wear lighter hats. And ideally that's a hat that's held in place with a hat pin. Uh, and then when the wedding gets to after six o'clock in the evening, if it's carrying on after six o'clock, then you remove your hat. So ladies only wear hats in the day, but when the night starts at six o'clock, you can take the hat off. Take the hat off? Yes, no hats after six. Why is that? Because the purpose technically of a hat is to hide your face from the sun and funnily enough the sun goes down after six o'clock oh, okay that's why um you also natasha uh, need to wear a, a dress basically that one that stops um minimum at the knee don't go above the knee uh, it can be longer if you wish and it needs to have sleeves technically if there is food involved oh, right. technically you wear gloves for morning dress but that really is a rule that you don't need to worry about too much because nobody will um i would however natasha i would find out if the mother of the bride i'm assuming it's a, a heterosexual wedding it doesn't have to be all the mothers of the grooms or the mothers of the brides whatever it is are they wearing a hat if they are you probably should okay and what so you've got to wear a dress with sleeves Dress with sleeves. Is, You're very is really good at this old etiquette. Thank you. Malarkey. If you want more information, the Bluffer's Guide to Etiquette is probably a good place to look. It's a great coffee table book. It is. Or an even better doorstop. Next question, please. <laughs> Do you know Jonathan has it in his loo? Does he? Yes. Mm. Oh, I only have one loo, but it would be good for a little loo. Downstairs yeah. loo. <laughs> <laughs>